colleague Seth Davis from CBS Sports and Sports Illustrated joins us now. Seth, when we spoke to you last week, you put Gonzaga sixth in your AP poll ballot. This week you tweeted them as the number one team on your ballot. What changed your mind to move the Zags up five places? Well, everybody lost. You know, I, I, I tried to hold them down as long as I could, but uh, everybody lost. And Gonzaga did its part by winning. I was very impressed, Ray with the fact that they were able to go into the Marriott Center on Thursday night and win at BYU. Pretty good team, uh, crowded arena, everybody excited to win, everything on the line, able to pull out the game. Duke had a chance to do that at Virginia, wasn't able to do it. I came very close to ranking Duke number one, Ray, because of the return of Ryan Kelly. Obviously, he meant a lot uh, in that win over Miami is an understatement, but I just felt like you know, again, this is not selecting and seeding the tournament. This is ranking teams uh, in, a, in a writer's poll. And I do I do believe that Gonzaga deserves to be number one right now. It's great for that school, and it's certainly good for college basketball. So I gave them the nod. Seth, Gonzaga is just the third non-big six school in the past 10 years to make it to number one. The other two, Memphis and St. Joseph's, near never got the opportunity to cut down the nets. Now, where does Gonzaga rank in history as a non-big six, and can this team pull off what Memphis and St. Joe's could not? Well, why don't you ask me that question again in about six weeks, because then we'll know for sure where they belong in history. I mean, I am certainly not one of these people who uh, downgrades Gonzaga because of their schedule, because of the league that they're in. I think they're a really good team. I think they're absolutely capable of going to the Final Four, absolutely capable of winning the national championship, much as those two teams you mentioned. I mean, Memphis was one bucket away from winning the whole thing, and uh, Jameer Nelson and St. Joseph's lost on a, on a uh, last-second possession in, in the lead eight against Oklahoma State. Gonzaga is that good, but you also got to get a little bit lucky uh, to be able to um, consider be considered one of the great teams in history. I absolutely think that they're at that level. I absolutely think that they can win it all. But until they get it done, Ray, we can't put them yet in that category.